whatever foes call this their home must be uniquely fearsome. It is a lonely place, to be sure. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. We must not let down our guard. I'll hold the enemy in place. I concur. Well done. One might confidently call that a resounding victory. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. You seem to have been chilled. Are you all right? This ox cart has been destroyed. The work of goblins, mayhem. We ought to proceed with caution. Well. It would seem the stone puppet has stopped. Have the wounded been tended to? Yes, my lord. Good. I trust you are prepared, Sovereign of Vermont. W will it really be all right? I I'm not about to be charred, am I? Fear not. You are in no danger. The dragon shall be under my control. When it appears. Come. Let us press onward. What is it? Has something happened? You ought at least rest for the evening. There should be a spare bed in the lodgings yonder. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take it from me. You're better off resting while you have the chance.
That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Beg pardon if my hospitality is... But if you seek a bed and you've the coin, it's yours. No questions asked. <sighs> Shall we get some rest then? Good morrow, everyone. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Feeling rested, I trust. Well, met, sir. How does the day treat you then? Wearing uh, armor all day. Those recruits don't know the whole point. Here. Time to be heading. Every minute the wooden gift. I hasten home. I end up feeling not my dream. even after a day of rest. It's been a hard day. I can't bring myself to do the same thing. Can't work as late as I used to anymore. Don't be daft. The lodgings are that. I'd hasten home, chose were this not... I do not tolerate idle chatter during... How many times have we come here, I wonder? Where your overconfidence does not lead to incaution. What purpose does this contraption serve? Perhaps you might investigate Arisen. We pawns will be ready to respond, whatever the outcome. Well now, I'm a lucky man. Thought I was waiting here for naught. But when someone finally does come along, tis you. I've always wanted a real fight with you, one on one. Here's my chance. You're not holding back on me, are you, Sir Arisen? Tis a ragged master. We've not had a whisper of the man since your last way to the cave. Yet there he stands. 
he seems to desire about. You ought to fight him alone. We shall await you here. Best of luck to you. someone's idea of a jape. Just give the order and I will join the fray. Is that it? Might as well lay down and die then. there in this <coughs> you're not present in this battle you're not here for me well so be it my contract only bade me deliver my employer to the tower I I sought to battle you to the death entirely of my own accord but I can't enjoy it not like this So go, and when next we meet, we'll settle this properly.
Dragon, heed my call. Your will is mine to command. Curses. This arrival of the true risen is most inopportune. Sovereign of Vermin, the ritual must not be disturbed. Let not the Arisen approach. You can manage that, I trust. It is of vital import that we have a word with Lord Vader. The pretender need not be present. Let my magic grant you an elemental boon. Watch as this world's hollow and fruitless order is remade by my hand. The ritual is complete. The dragon comes. Behold! The Royce Dragon! By my power, the dogma of dragons is unmade. You could ne'er understand a risen We must all be freed from the vulgar order wherein the dragon's existence determines all. Hast thou summoned the resolution to face me? Then answer me this. Why dost thou fight? Is it to reclaim thy flesh, thy stolen heart? Or is it to reclaim thy throne? I offer thee a choice. Grant unto me this life in my claws, and be gone from this place. Or stand and fight. Pitiable arisen. The time for thou to make thy choice is come. Show me the path thou wouldst walk. Go, and thou shalt live to claim thy coveted throne. Fight and thy life is forfeit. 
Thou wilt face the dragon's dogma. upon us. We must decide a victor, and in so doing, form a link in the chain that bind at this wheel. Tell me, Arisen, what is thy desire?
holds. And if thou hast this, this truth is, then thou art a There is no turning back on the path of ruin. Why do you have to sue me, Arisen? You have fulfilled your charge, are you not satisfied? Seek you greater status? Perhaps to rule the world entire? It is how you desire you need merely spy out. This is thine, Arisen. By thy will alone can the course of the winners of fate be altered. You would still resist your fate. Understand you the folly of such a decision. Even the beating of your reclaimed heart was born of the great will of this world. Yet you would abandon it. Everything in this world 
all that you have come to know as reality is the creation of the Great Will. Should that will be lost, no mortal being can survive. However, if regret yet assails your spirit, then perhaps you should reaffirm your choice. Witness with your own eyes, or through the eyes of another, the fate of this world. Turn back. Leave now, while you can. You have strayed, Arisa. And for what? Lest you forget. You have a world where you belong. There, you are to fell the great evil in your path and rule the people as their sovereign. For that is who you are. And it is my wish that you should live out that life of purpose. The time has come for you to return. Go. My children shall see you there safely. Let us go home. Together. To a world under your rightful rule. To a world all your own. Is your will? Then behold, a world unmerciful, bereft of the benevolent hands of God.
You find it strange. But this is your world. The world to which you longed to return. Alas, if only you had chosen to become sovereign. At the end of your travails, you could have ruled over these lands in perpetual peace. Yet that world of limitless possibilities has ended. You stand now upon its remains, the vestiges of a world that could have been so much more. Innumerable wills have served to deliver this world from extinction time and time again. You alone have refused to carry out that great purpose. What you see before you is the consequence of your apathy. Behold. In the blink of an eye, the sickle of oblivion will reap aught that you have known. I would advise you not to waste these last moments. Explore the remnants of this world while you can. Perhaps in doing so, you shall come to see the truth and know the wretchedness of a world unworthy of being chronicled. How shall you fare, I wonder? Will you endure in this world? Abandoned and unprotected. Master, suck you by. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Master, watch out!
understood. We've little need for a campsite at present. We shall be ill prepared for battle if we rest over much. Trounced our foe well and true. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. become of the world. Would that there were someone who could explain this madness. Come to think of it, did not Sir Atheus speak of releasing the world from its bonds in the seafloor shrine? If this is indeed the... ...world unbound, then perhaps we ought to seek out his wisdom. If this is indeed the world unbound, then perhaps we ought to seek out his wisdom. Let our foes power for lightning to crackle. Let me get that.
Your pawn is nowhere to be seen, master. But where would a pawn possibly go, leaving their own master behind? Perhaps this too is Lord Phasus's doing. We ought to go and speak with him at the Forbidden Magic Research Lab. Perhaps this too is Lord Phasus's doing. We ought to go and speak with him at the Forbidden Magic Research Lab. Oh, what does this say? Let's have a look then. Ah, arisen. You yet live. I suspected as much, given that your pawn still remains. One might hypothesize that your pawn is sustained by your vital essence. Or perhaps something more. In any case, we ought to apprise one another of the situation. Is there aught you would know? Ah, yes. I trust it has not escaped your notice that the end of days is upon us. After you vanished, together with the Red Dragon, the seas rose to swallow the skies. Twas perhaps a month from that evil day when a new calamity befell us. A host of dragons descended from the skies and fell upon the land with fang and claw. Luz the Oracle called upon me ere you arrived. As she tells it, Melv and its environs have already fallen prey to the beasts. Tis surely only a matter of time before the rest of the kingdom follows suit. I found the poor creature collapsed by the wayside near Batal. Recognizing your pawn, I decided to take the ailing thing into my custody. I thought it possible that the Arisen's pawn might hold the key to making sense of all this madness. Alas, try what I might. Your pawn will not wake. Mayhap you will succeed where I could not. The pawn is, after all, yours to command. Indeed, then I shall take my turn. In your absence, I had hoped your pawn might yield me some information. But as you have returned, I would hear the truth from your lips. Tell me, Arisen, what became of you this past month? So following your plunge into the sea on the dragon's back, some mysterious presence reached out to you. Could that have been the world forged? Yet why would such a being linger in those fathomless depths? I can only speculate. And speculate I shall. This ought to prove a fruitful avenue of investigation. For that, I thank you. Now, if you can find a way to end this interminable slumber, your pawn is, of course, free to rejoin you. Oh, Master. How long I've slept. Far too long, it seems. But worry not. Now that I am awake, I shall follow wherever you lead.